So welcome back. So now we want to render some JSX. And to do this, we have to make a component. But uh, first we want to test it. So let's say we want to send JSX here. Let's just try it. Make a paragraph and say hello JSX. Of course, this doesn't work because of multiple factors. First of all, in our TypeScript file, we haven't defined that we want to compile JSX. So, just uh, search for JSX and use uh, React. Okay, that's just the name React. It's, it's nothing to do with React. I have no idea why they choose the term React, but it works with any JSX uh, library. Okay, so then we have to tell which one is the factory. And instead of React's create element, we just want to use H. Because Nano JSX exports H, which is the same as React create element. Just if you have used Preact before, well, it, it does the same thing. Okay, so now the server is running, but we have type error, multiple types error. Let's check it. Here we have, p -p 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 -p, well, you can re read it, that we cannot find the name H. So what we can do is just import that H. Import H from nano JSX. And that issue has gone. Now, check out the browser. Okay, now it says document is not defined. <sighs> what is this? I already know what it is, of course. It's the issue that you cannot just uh, output JSX like this. You have to render it. And in nano JSX, there is something called render. Render. We have two render functions, one for the client and one for the server, obviously. And we use the server one. Like so. Back to the browser. Still not working. Oh yeah, that's because that's something a bit special. Actually, how can I demo? You just have to take for, yeah. It's, <laughs> let me explain. It doesn't work because this, this uh, JSX code will be transpiled to normal JavaScript before we even call uh, this route. And a nano JSX will only set up the render inside render SSR. So uh, one option to fix this is to wrap it inside an anonymous function, which will work, yes. Or the manual approach is just to get in it SSR. That's from another sub module. Let's see, port in it SSR. Yes, it's inside lib and then SSR. And then you can just call that manually at the beginning so you don't have any issues later in your app. But if you experience this issue, issue just add an anonymous function. It's better practice to do it anyways, because you might not want to render it before you use it. So let's just keep it that way and remove that. Back to see if it works. Yes, it works just fine. Okay, let's make a break.